my name is Sue, I'm 22, I'm from Alberta, Edmonton. I live in VJ Park. My name is Don Juan Big Schlong. I am 20 years old and I live in VJ Park. We live on the streets. VJ Pogs. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, I had an apartment when I came to Montreal, but the, uh, the city doesn't want me to have a dog within an apartment, so I was kicked out. Oh, there was this one time I had an apartment and uh, I moved in with my ex-boyfriend when I was going out with him. And then our two roommates ditched out on us, so there's two of us in a $900 apartment. We weren't even making enough to cover the bills or anything like that, so we ended up leaving and now we're stuck with $3,000 worth of damages. <laughs> it sucks. Well, the reason I want to get an apartment is because my dog, you know, she just had a litter of nine puppies. Cheers to that. Um, uh, yeah, so they, they, they live better outside. They get to socialize with other dogs. My dog lives a bit freer instead of being cooped up in a house, you know, until I take her for a walk. It's better this way. I feel freer. I, I, I don't know. What can I say? It's just better. It should park kicks ass. A lot of people automatically think this is other on the streets. I must be spending all my money on drugs and blah, blah, blah. It don't matter if I'm a junkie. I'm a street kid, and they treat me like shit because of that. I, get, I, I can't sleep, I can't fucking eat, I can't be within a park after a certain hour. Where else am I supposed to go? The reason that people discriminate against me, I figure, is because they figure that because I'm not a tax-paying citizen, because I, I don't choose to be within the system, I don't choose to, to you know, have a car and a you know, two-car garage, fucking a dog and a family, then, then I must be scum because that's the... You know, the suburban fucking middle upper class fucking way of living. And if you're not that, then you're scum. You obviously must be a junkie. And I get mistaken for a junkie a lot. It's not my thing. I did drugs for about four years, and I've been clean for two and a half years now. And I don't know, I almost killed myself on crystal meth out west because it's so abundant over there. And it was like, I don't know, I had a crack, and I got into morphine, and I just like... I started doing the chicken on the sidewalk, not remembering that I was doing it. My friends were telling me this shit, and I was like, holy fuck, it's about time to quit. <laughs> I've seen what junk does to friends. I've seen what junk does to, to different other people. I've seen, I've seen the end result, and it doesn't look too fucking promising. Looks like a pretty shitty way to live a life, if yeah. you ask me. A lot of people fucking, you know, I'm squeezing their car, you know, I'm going to make money, and they're like, oh, don't spend on drugs, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, you're just a fat junkie in your whole life. <laughs> you know, everyone automatically thinks that since you live on the streets, you must do drugs. I don't do well, drugs. what else could we do? I this drink thing? my beer. <laughs> I smoke my cigarettes. They, they don't think it's, it's physically possible to have a good time on the streets. Okay, you're in a bad situation, fucking make the best of it. We hang out in this park, and we fucking, we do a lot of other things other than drink. You we might travel. see us with a beer tonight, but fucking, this morning I was playing chess with my buddy Mario, and fucking, we do a lot of other stuff, man. We travel, we get to see the fucking world, you know? Well, well maybe not the world, you know, we can travel throughout the whole continent. I'm not wearing sleeves. Do I look like a fucking junkie? If you think so, fuck off. Drunk punks, not junk punks.